Back live at five with a look at St. Teresa right now. Quite the ominous picture with the clouds racing overhead, the rain pelting the camera lens and the waves there on the water rolling into Franklin County. At Franklin County, one place to see some of the biggest effects from this storm. Right now, the county's under a voluntary evacuation order for some parts. Multiple j bridges also closed. I want to bring in Sheriff AJ Smith. He joins us live via Zoom. Sheriff, thank you so much for being us. I, I know you've had a busy day, so what are you seeing right now? What do you want the public to know about those bridges right now? Well, we had the bridges closed going across Apalachicola Bay and uh, St. George Island. And we're just, we're hoping that we can open them up, you know, fairly quickly. Just we're asking folks to be patient. Um, we know that this is an inconvenience, but it's for your safety. And the approaches to the bridges are what seem to be the worst. And of course, on the bridge, the wind is going anywhere from 40 to 60 and 70 mile an hour gusts is what we've measured on it on the Apalachicola Bridge and even higher on the bridge going to the island. So as soon as we can open them, we will. We, you know, we don't want to hold folks up. But if you don't have to be out, stay home, shelter in place. We're on the tail end of this thing and just let it, you know, come on through. And then we can get back to business as usual. Okay, Sheriff, so you close the bridges because of the wind and that risk of people driving across them. What about flooding? Any issues you're hearing about right now? I mean, just the uh, Alligator Point, Alligator Drive, the place that always washes out. Uh, we've It's closed. And, um, you know, Apalachicola, Water Street, some of that's underwater. I mean, nothing really, really bad. The, you know, one of the big things, there were trees falling across the road, so that made it a hazard as well. You know, for people driving, that's why, again, just stay home till this thing finishes. These pine trees will, when they get soaked and the wind starts blowing, then, you know, they'll fall down. They, We've had several fall across the road. We've had to remove them. And we've got about 30 seconds. I just want to ask you, how does this storm compare to other storms you've been through over the years? Well, of course, you know, the last one that is really still in our mind is, of course, Michael. And I know that we had, you know, triple digit winds here and we had a lot of damage like our neighbors in Gulf and Bay County did. But uh, when you look at it, the Gulf and the Bay, it reminds you a lot of what we saw with Michael because uh, a lot of wave action, a lot of water and wind, but um, certainly nothing like, you know, Hurricane Michael, but All right, makes you thankful it. that we're, we're just getting a little bit of it. Got it. All right. Well, we thank you so much for your time. Stay safe. Keep doing the good work out there and we'll, uh, we'll keep up with you on online and, and we hope you have a safe night.